Let's get into the cinema news from over this last weekend. Deadpool and Wolverine has officially crossed $1 billion, making it the first MCU film to cross $1 billion since Spider-Man No Way Home. Let's fucking go. Harold and the Purple Crown crossed $13 million worldwide, box office-wise, and on a $40 million budget. So, yeah, it was a bit of a fl- It was a way, way big flop. Okay, so it looks like that RDJ is returning to play, you know, both Doctor Doom and Iron Man in the MCU. You know, Stark, Flight Lab, Iron Man, and Doomsday, Secret Wars, Doctor Doom. So, yeah. So, it looks like we're going to get a little bit of both worlds. Of the best of both worlds, if you will. I don't know about this. I feel like they're kind of really overdoing it with the whole RDJ returning to the MCU. I would love for him to return for Secret Wars and, you know, whatnot. Obviously, now he's Doctor Doom, but, like, I don't know. I'll let him cook. I'll, I, I trust them, but I feel they're a little bit overplaying, if you will. Charlie Cox confirms and teases that Marvel cameos in Daredevil Born Again will happen. There's a couple of small moments of collision, so we might see some MCU appearances. So for everyone's theory from Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 3 that, you know, with Kevin Conroy is his last performance as Batman. Also, it was said that Mark Hamill played the Joker. Well, it turns out that wasn't the case. It wasn't Mark Hamill playing Joker, but it sounded a lot like him. But they updated that whole version of the scene. You can go check it out on my Twitter to see the difference between both scenes. But they uh, on the digital digital rent rental version of the movie has now been updated with Hamill's performance. So basically, there is a new version out there. If you have the digital uh, version, it's the updated actual version of Mark Hamill voicing Joker, which means they probably got him to re-record those lines. Um, but if you have the uh, hard copy, then you have the, the fake Mark Hamill version. It breaks basically. They have dropped their first teaser for Squid Game Season 2 and will be released on December 26th on Netflix. Bad Boys Ride or Die has passed $400 million in the box office, making it one of the biggest, highest grossing films of 2024. And I'm so happy about this news. It's well-deserved. I'm, I'm so glad that this film is getting so much success for what it is. So your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man animated series is reportedly to release on Disney Plus on November of this year. It looks like we're getting two Halloween games, and those games will allow fans to relive classic moments from the movies. It also looks like John Carpenter is involved with one of the game's developments. Free Guy was released three years ago today, which is crazy to me how much time has passed. Tell me your favorite moments from this film. Do you like it? Do you hate it? It, Tell me about it. What do you think about this film?